Good morning, everyone. This is the Techno Symphony lens from Johnson & Johnson Vision. This says Abbott, but Johnson & Johnson purchased uh, Abbott, and they are a combined company now. <clears throat> the Technus lens is part of a line of products that we call ATIOLs, Advanced Technology Intraocular Lens Implants, or Multifocal Lens Implants. On the lens, uh, there are rings, which I will show you when I open the box. <clears throat> Each ring uh, provides a little bit of a different focal point so that you can see uh, both distance and up close to a certain degree. In subsequent videos, I'll get into how well or how poorly you can see uh, at very close distances. This lens is better for um, intermediate vision and distance vision. Uh, I guess at this point, when we talk to patients, we tell them that there are three kinds of vision far away, like you're driving your car and looking at road signs or television. Uh, <clears throat> intermediate vision, <clears throat> like you're looking at a computer or you're reading the newspaper or you're looking at a cell phone and then very close vision like you're signing a check or trying to read um, something on the back of a <clears throat> lean cuisine box or um, a pill box or something of that nature. The fine print in a phone book, uh, if anyone uses those anymore. Uh, again, these lenses are not uh, perfect for that, for the very close vision. They're good for intermediate, and they are really great for far away. Again, just to review, you have to pay for these. Insurance companies will never pay for these. Uh, a Medicare um, provision was passed many years ago which said that Essentially, uh, Medicare will never pay for these type of enhanced uh, IOLs and commercial commercial insurance companies uh, follow from Medicare guidelines. So let's take a look at the box here. I've said this in other videos. Uh, these are the specifics. Uh, when you talk about a Techno Symphony, the, uh, the trade designation is ZX RU, ZXR00. Uh, again, these lenses are made in the Netherlands. Interesting. Uh, the dioptridge is the power of the lens that goes in your body, and that's um, these lens aren't made custom for you, but we have a wide, wide range of powers. And when you do your preoperative testing, um, that's how we determine that. Again, the A constant is the quality uh, or the type of refractive power that the material that these particular lenses are made out of. Um, within a company... In general, the material is the same, but across different companies that make lenses, the material is slightly different, though the A constant is generally around these numbers. And the diameters and such are fairly standardized now. They used to be quite variable, but they're fairly standardized. Let's open this up. So again, this lens uh, is delivered to your doctor. Uh, I hope that someday it's delivered to you personally, but presently it's delivered to your doctor. And we have a what's called a consignment of these lenses <clears throat> in our surgical centers or in the hospitals. And uh, we can, we pick the lens prior to your having surgery, but sometimes we modify that on the day of surgery or when we're even operating um, based upon um, human experience. 
Again, you get these stickers. These go in your chart, but um, you get a copy of these records, which you should keep in your uh, strong box at your house or at the bank, etc. This is that card that you get, the ID card. This is a bunch of stuff from the FDA, which you don't get. And these lenses, uh, again, uh, so you're in the operating room, the circulating non-sterile nurse um, gives this to, uh, she opens this up or he opens this up and gives this to the surgical technician who is assisting the doctor. And the inside part of this is uh, sterile. And so the surgical technician will take this part and prepare that for the ophthalmologist. Sorry, I'm struggling a little bit here. It's I'm working around the camera. So again, everything is identified when the lens is passed off from the circulating nurse. She says what kind of lens it is and the power, and then the technician repeats it and the physician repeats it. There's a lot of checks and balances so that we um, obviously implant the right lens. These little uh, lens things from J&J &J are interesting. They turn and this opens up and the lens is inside. I'm gonna change uh, positions of this camera and uh, I'll show you the lens. Okay, so we're back. So this is what the lens looks like. Um, these lenses, all lenses are, all lenses of this type, this is considered to be a one piece lens. This is one per, uh, complete um, piece of uh, plastic. Um, this is the modern way to make lenses. Um, <clears throat> There used to be three-piece lenses. I'll show you one of those in another video, which we use occasionally, not so much anymore. Um, are these better? Um, they're probably a little bit easier to use, um, but the visual effect or the vision obtained um, from a three-piece versus a one-piece, there is no difference in that. Uh, it's just probably easier for the uh, usage of it. Um, they're a little bit smushy, so you can see they're kind of like sticky, and they kind of have some, we call it memory. It takes them a while to find their spot. That's what makes them a little bit easier to use. This is also what's called a hydrophobic lens. Um, there are hydrophilic lenses, which I'll show you a couple of those at some point. Again, largely immaterial, that sort of uh, nerdy stuff for doctors. You can see uh, how that magnifies the letters. That's what it does in your eye. This is a convex lens. It's a condensing lens. It's a plus lens that goes in your eye. Uh, again... Very difficult to see, but there's little rings on here that um, provide the uh, near power that I was describing earlier. Uh, by the way, this is how the lens uh, sits in your eye. These little guys here are called haptics, and this is called the optic, and this is the orientation of the lens in your eye. Um, as a size comparison, that's my pinky. With regard to um, a, 
a comparison to other types of lenses uh, that will be in subsequent videos. Thanks.